Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am Ima Shri. In today's video, I am going to show you how to calculate average in SharePoint online list. Before calculating an average, we should know that it values only the number column and we can have only 13 numeric arguments to pass. As shown in above, this is our average function syntax. Let me explain you within two scenarios. As per my first scenario, I have my SharePoint list which have a three price column. Using those three price column, we will calculate an average value using the calculated column type. In left side, I have shown you how to calculate an average value. Sum of all columns divided by the number of items. Okay. In my second scenario, we will calculate an average value using the single column. Microsoft has provided without using any formulas or without creating any calculated column, we can, we can calculate an average value of single column. Okay. Let's do technically. Open your SharePoint site. This is my home page of SharePoint site. Let me navigate to the list. This is my SharePoint online list regarding product order details which have a 6 columns and 3 price columns. Keyboard price, mouse price and charger price. Using this 3 price column, I will calculate an average value of those. Click on add column. See all column types. Click on the next button. Then provide the column name as average value of products. Choose calculate it. Now provide the formula. Average. I already shown you the average syntax. Now choose the columns. Keyboard price. Provide the comma after the single column. Okay. Now I'll choose another column. Mouse price. Add to formula. I'll choose another next column. Charger price. Add to formula. Close the syntax. I need my answer to be in the number type. So I'll choose the number. Like next, the column should be in the number type. So then click on the OK button. Now we can see that average value of products will be added to a SharePoint online list. Like it is calculating an average value of this three price column. Okay. As per the second scenario, let me calculate an average value of the single column. Okay. Let me take keyboard price. Without using any formula or without creating any calculated column type, we will calculate this average value of keyboard price. Okay. Click on the column. Click on totals and choose average. See, this is giving an average value of the single column of average, like keyboard price average value is 111. This is how we can calculate an average value in SharePoint online list. I hope you guys like this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel to get more free video tutorials on SharePoint Online, Power Apps, Power Automate and Power BI. Thank you.